What's going on YouTube? Modern Day Muscle back at you with another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to put SRT pages on your 2017 Dodge Challenger Scat Pack. All right, so we're sitting in the car now. Make sure you have your Z Automotive Taser um, plugged into the OBD2 port. Make sure um, it's gonna be up underneath here. Not sure how well you can see that, but if you put your fingers there, you'd be able to see it. Um, so when you put the taser in there, it's gonna feel a little loose, but don't worry, it's in there correctly. All right, guys, so we have the taser plugged into the OBD2 port. So the next step you wanna do is make sure you put your car in the run position. Turn off the AC. But yeah, just make sure it's in the run position. All right, guys, here's the menu. Make sure you move your setting to the audio setting of your car. And then, I know you don't see it right now because of my camera setup, but you want one finger on the left directional pad on the left side of the steering wheel. And then you want another finger on the cancel button, which is located on the right hand side of the steering wheel. You're gonna hold the left directional button down and then hit cancel. And then it should take you into the taser, which you can see on screen. And what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna marry the stock settings to the taser so that it doesn't forget, so that you don't screw anything up with your car. Now that it's married, let's go to, um, I'm pretty sure it would be in performance. And also to take your time when you're going through this, you might miss things. So performance, right? So then we hit OK. Let's see, SRT set, yes. We want that. That's gonna give us the SRT graphics. Oh, it's switched, that's why. All right, so when that happens, I guess it switches now, which is a little strange. So let's go back to the audio. Yes, we want the shift light. SRT set, yes. Yes for eco mode. All right, guys, we have rebooted. As you can see, the SRT is on my uh, infotainment display. So the next thing we need to do is we actually need to turn the car off now. There goes the memory seating, which I'll probably show that again because that was a bad representation of it. We need to exit the vehicle with keys in hand, walk away from the vehicle. I would say give it like 30 seconds to a minute. You want you want everything in the car basically to turn off. All right, guys, take two. Um, I was just talking about how hot it was and my camera overheated so it shut off. So now that the car is basically off now, we're gonna enter the vehicle and I'm gonna try to see if I can capture the memory seating here. Oh, it won't catch it. Okay, that sucks. But um, key has to be in there. So maybe you can catch the uh, the steering wheel moving down. So if we turn the car on now. See my splash screen is different, which I'm gonna change that. So, oh, by the way, if you have SRT pages on and you have a scat pack, you're only allowed to get either that really plain looking Challenger splash screen or the Hellcat splash screen. Um, I'm probably gonna switch to the Hellcat, not because I want to, but it looks better than the Challenger one. I really wish I could keep the B, but yeah, I won't get into that. So now, let's check if we have the SRT pages. So we can just go into drive mode, which there's multiple ways you could, you know, put performance pages here, but this is how I have my car set up. So, so far it looks like it's working. I have track, sport, custom, and default, things that do not come well, track doesn't come on the scat pack, sport does. But now you see this thing called performance pages right there. And uh, let's click to see what happens. SRT performance pages, looks like it's working. All right, so there we go. We got um, the performance pages. I'm pretty sure this is a Hellcat or an SRT 392. Looks like an SRT 392. But um, yeah, the performance pages are there. You got timers your gauges, and as you can see, it has the SRT graphics, um, more gauges for different um, readouts. Then you have your G-forces, 
so that's pretty cool. And then my favorite one's the engine, because it gives you an active gives you an active read on uh, how much horsepower you're using and you know your oil life and you know torque and everything like that. It's pretty cool. See if I do like this. So this is the end of the video. Um, I hope this helped anybody that was trying to put performance pages on their car and didn't know how to with this new update. Um, my name is Jordan. This is Modern Day Muscle. And, you know, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell icon at the right-hand corner of the screen so you know when I post um, a video, I post weekly content. I'll catch you on the next video.